The story begins with the introduction of Claire, a young and beautiful woman who works at the hotel owned by her stepmother Maud. After Claire's father passes away, Maud inherits the hotel. Now she and her secret lover, Bernard, own it. One morning when Claire goes for a run, she's suddenly kidnapped by a mysterious woman and thrown into the trunk of a car. However, their journey takes an unexpected turn when a wild boar appears in front of the car, causing the woman to hit a tree and become unconscious. This allows Claire to escape the abduction, and she blindly runs into the forest. However, the kidnapper eventually finds her in the dense forest pointing a gun at Claire. The mysterious woman blames the whole situation on Claire's attractiveness. Luckily, just as the woman is about to shoot her, Claire is rescued by a hunter named Pierre. It turns out that Pierre, his twin brother Francois, and the says Vincent, live in a nearby cabin. The next day, Claire wakes up in a strange room, half undressed. At that moment, Pierre walks into the room admitting that he killed the woman who was chasing her. Claire is worried about this and suggests contacting the authorities, but Pierre refuses to do so, and instead he offers her some fresh clothes before leaving. Later on, Claire explores the house and tries to calm Maud, but gets no response. Suddenly Vincent rushes into the kitchen looking for his inhaler. After finding relief and calming down, Vincent introduces himself and guides Claire to where he enjoys playing music. Claire is impressed with his musical talent, and Vincent also introduces her to his beloved pet dog that night. Pierre's twin brother Francois wakes her up for some unknown reason, and then he asks Claire to leave fearing that the people who kidnapped her will eventually discover her whereabouts and find their residence. Claire is filled with anger and firmly declares that Francois has no right to evict her because he voluntarily saved her. The man yells at Claire leading her to angrily slap him. Enraged by this, the man grabs her, but unexpectedly he kisses her. A gesture, which Claire surprisingly accepts without objection. The next day when the twins go to work, Claire accompanies Vincent to see the vet on the way. They take a detour to a bookstore where she meets the librarian, Charles, and the local priest, Father Gilbert. Charles is immediately attracted to Claire's beauty, showing great interest in her, even bowing to her in front of her later while they are drinking. Claire and Vincent recall their childhood memories strengthening their bond. She also confides to them about her mother's passing after they return home. Vincent gets violent with Claire. However, they are interrupted by Pierre, who angrily points out that Claire should keep a low profile as her presence is already widely known in town. After a while, Claire decides to confront Pierre and asks if he wants her to leave unexpectedly. Their interaction takes a passionate turn leading to an intimate moment between them. That night struggling to sleep, Claire stepped out to find Pierre watching TV. Then she sits next to him skillfully caressing him, giving him a seductive look, needing little persuasion to convince him and they make love to her. Surprise, this man STAS, severely revealing that he is actually not Pierre, but his brother Francois. Upon realizing his behavior, Claire immediately states her disagreement, causing Francois to feel embarrassed about his prior dishonesty. However, they both burst into laughter agreeing to keep this encounter a secret between them. The next morning, Claire goes for a jog and accidentally runs into Father Gilbert who is riding a motorcycle. They decide to go to the church together where she admits her obvious wrong behavior. Claire acknowledges her close relationship with the twin brothers and questions whether this is morally wrong. However, the priest responds with a smile, do not judge, and you will not be judged. Later, Claire goes to a local bar and gets a job as a waitress, realizing that she can't be I any longer. When she returns home, she decides to make a call to her stepmother. The story happened seven days ago. Maud watches Claire's work from the window. Soon after her secret lover, Bernard enters the room. She admits that the joy she once experienced with him has disappeared. Later, Bernard returns to the room and makes a call to Claire, inviting her upstairs, but she rejects his invitation. Upon hearing this intense jealousy consumes her, and she decides to take drastic measures, hiring a killer to eliminate Claire. Over the past few days, Bernard notices Claire's absence, and asks Maud about her whereabouts. However, she casually dismisses his concerns, implying Claire might be unwell. Suddenly, Maud received a surprising call hearing Claire's voice on the other end, but she ends the call abruptly without saying a word. Meanwhile, at her workplace, Claire encounters Charles, who introduces his son, Clement, to her. She also meets Sam, who reveals he dreamed about her the previous night. Then he proposes a date hoping to talk about the dream he had, and Claire accepts that night. Claire and Sam spend time at a club dancing and enjoying each other's company. Suddenly a stranger tries to approach Claire and Sam steps in to protect her. However, the stranger still insists on approaching her, causing Sam to shout and push him away. Conveniently, Clement is also in the same club. He intervenes and knocks down the persistent stranger. On the drive home, Claire describes Sam as fragile, but at the same time, she finds herself attracted to him. She then expresses her belief that Sam is a strong person 
but still appreciates his fragility. In response, Sam immediately pulls over and they passionately make out. The next morning, Maud finally arrives at the small town and locates Claire, who has no idea that her stepmother has managed to find her, but before meeting her Maud heads to the bookstore and encounters Charles. Then she asks him for a guidebook of the town and inquires about the recent happenings in the town. In response, he says that he's pleased to welcome Maud, another charming lady to the area. Charles further compliments her beauty and mentions another young woman who recently moved to the town. Later, Maud explores the church meeting Father Gilbert, where she confesses her search for her stepdaughter Claire and asks him if he's seen her. Additionally, Monty tells Zimmer's stepdaughter has run away from home, likely moved to this place, and reveals their relationship became tense after the passing of Claire's father. Upon hearing this, Gilbert claims to know about Claire and proposes to arrange a meeting in the morning, reuniting the family. Meanwhile, Claire is seen with Charles and Clement during her work, thanking Clement for helping and protecting her the previous night. Later Claire returns home where she smokes with Pierre and his twin brother. After a while, Claire pulls out her received gift, a violin, showcasing Chasing her musical talent. The next morning, while jogging in the beautiful mountain area, Claire encounters Clement. She asks him if he's dating but does not receive a definitive answer. Meanwhile, Claire finds herself increasingly attracted to Clement and his shyness. Surprisingly, he boldly overcomes his shyness and kisses her lips. Claire attempts to push him back but Clement is startled and runs off, causing her to laugh at the situation. Next, on her job back, Claire goes to the church to meet the priest, admitting she has an intimate relationship with another man, and it appears there might be another encounter shortly after he reunites her with Maud, who explains she couldn't answer the call due to a connection issue. At that moment, Claire narrates all that has happened to her while Maud deceptively acts innocent. Furthermore, she pretends to invite her stepdaughter to come home with her, but Claire simply rejects this proposal. Later, Claire mentions she needs to leave for work, and Maud offers her a ride on the journey. Maud stops the car pretending it has a flat tire, then at the edge of a cliff, she directs Claire to check the wheel. In a deceitful turn, she contemplates pushing her stepdaughter off the cliff and moves towards her. However, before she connects, Gilbert arrives on a motorcycle and stops to offer help ultimately forwarding her malicious plan. Meanwhile, Charles approaches Claire expressing concern about the recent unpredictable changes and Clement's behavior. He reveals that his son is being judgmental because of his closeness with her. However, Claire assures herself that she doesn't mind his kindness. Then Charles requests to talk with her since Clement is very attracted to her. Later, after finishing her work, Claire surprisingly visits Clement, but she does not discuss what Charles told her, instead, bringing up the event of Clement kissing her in the morning. Oddly, she does not appear upset or angry but attempts to seduce him, gets close to Clement and finally kisses him. Afterward, Claire returns to Charles and assures him that his son is all right and just needs to release some pent-up energy. However, as Charles tries to make a move on her, Claire reminds him to behave properly. Initially, Charles asks Claire to punish him. She refuses to indulge in such foolish behavior. When he gets too close, Claire starts hitting him with a cane laughing at him and running away quickly. On her bicycle ride home, Claire encounters Sam who offers her a ride. During their conversation, he asks her why she didn't call him after they met together. However, Claire doesn't seem particularly interested in this topic. Shortly after they get home, they find Vincent outside who invites Claire to his room to listen to his music. However, Sam completely misunderstands this and punches him in the face out of anger. An infuriated Sam storms out of the house. A few minutes later, people see Claire and Vincent happily playing in instruments together. Meanwhile, Maud prepares a picnic with her stepdaughter and secretly poisons an apple. The next day, the two of them are wandering near a waterfall and comfortably settled down on the lawn. She then coldly hands the poison fruit to an unsuspecting Claire. But just as she's about to take a bite, she notices Clement coming out of the nearby forest. Claire, out of curiosity, invites him to join the picnic and hands him an apple. Just then man grabs her hand claiming to be uncomfortable with the presence of this boy. Now, after the disappointing behavior of her stepmother, Claire puts the apple aside and follows Clement into the forest. They end up seeing frolicking in the water and finally making love in the rain. Later Maud tells Bernard that Claire is having relationships with multiple men for excitement. Although he expresses doubt and unease about this news, Ma cunningly asks if he would participate in such behavior at night. People see Claire and Charles dancing together in a club. At this point, Sam interrupts her forcibly, takes her away, then expresses his displeasure seeing her with other men, to which Claire simply laps off. Then as she continues dancing, Mon appears to have followed her to the club. After a while, Claire approaches Vincent asking them to dance with her. Though initially hesitant, he ultimately becomes enchanted and they dance passionately. Meanwhile, Pierre and Clement in the audience just watch Claire dance. 
then join her on the dance floor. On the other hand, Maud orders two drinks and secretly puts poison. In one of them, Clement accidentally bumps into her causing the cup to slip from her hands. Nonetheless, Maud joins Claire and offers her a drink while dancing with her. Then she shakes and pulls Claire vigorously, making it seem as if they're just dancing. After a while, Claire loses control and starts to feel dizzy and nauseous. Ma proposes to drive her stepdaughter home as they drive past the same cliff Ma vents. Her frustration about her failed love blames it all on Claire and her beauty. With Claire in a semi-conscious state, she seizes the opportunity to open the car door and forcibly pushes her stepdaughter off the cliff from the moving car. Then Maud stops the car ensuring that Claire lies motionless, confirming the death of what she considers an enemy. Afterward, she goes to a church and lights a candle, probably seeking forgiveness for her heinous crime. Karma quickly catches up with her. Her scarf is set alight by a lit candle burning. Maud is alive. Meanwhile, Claire lies motionless in the hospital, visited by her seven faithful friends. Pierre and his twin brother give her a kiss while Vincent tries to kiss her, but restrains himself. Sam, with tears streaming down his face, kisses her hand while Charles leaves. After rubbing her shoulder, Clement kisses her cheek and Father Gilbert gently pats her forehead. Miraculously, these acts of love wake Claire up. She wakes to find all seven of them in the ward, smiling at her. If you enjoy this video, please give a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.